guys, my name is Karshina of Honeysuckle Apothecary and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about how to receive messages from the universe, okay? I know um, as spiritualists and I know me in the beginning I wanted to um, be able to see spirit, look at spirit, speak directly with spirit, hear spirit, all that good stuff. And um, I'm going to show you how you can get there to receive that guidance and messages in your life and those signs in your life. and how you can, um, some quicker ways for you to get there, okay? I don't know if it's quicker, but how, the process, how it works. Okay? All right, first, open yourself up to spirit. Before um, you, can, you can hear spirit, you have to let spirit know that you want to hear her. You can make an actual declaration to the universe saying, you know, I'm open myself up to see you, spirit. Hold your hands out with palms up, meaning open and ready to receive. Um, and you can do that, and the universe will hear you and start to sorry, start to um, send you different things. Okay, another way, meditation. Um, of course, we want to start meditating. Uh, they, what is the saying? The saying is praying is talking to spirit and meditation is listening to spirit. So start meditating, okay? Set your intention in the beginning or not and just close your eyes and um, you're, you'll begin to hear messages, okay? You'll begin to hear, see visions and signs and stuff like that. Um, another way is prayer, you know? Whatever your belief system is, pray. Tell the universe what you want. Ask for what you want. Ask for wisdom to understand and to notice and to uh, notice and understand and see the sign for what it is when, it, when it's there, okay? Do not doubt it to know. Um, talk to spirit. Um, nature. Go out in nature. A big one to me is when you hear the most signs sometimes that when you're feeling blocked up, um, when your third eye is feeling blocked or just from stress or whatever it may be, go out into nature. Take a walk. Go to the park, a nature park. Take a walk. Just sit, meditate out there. Just listen out there. Just sit and listen and look at the lake or water. That's what I love going to water and stuff like that. And and you'll begin to hear spirit. Or you, in the beginning, you'll begin to connect with spirit. You'll begin to connect with which is nature, the trees, the water, the wind, and the sun. You know, or the clouds or the rain around you. So begin to go out into nature and just absorb other other things, other beings than yourself, than humans. Talking to trees, listening to trees, all that, okay? Take steps towards the things that you want. So if you're trying to get spirit to speak to you, start learning how to read tarot, okay? Um, do things so spirit can speak through you. All right. Um, set up an ancestor altar. Connect with your ancestors. It's very important. That should be the first connection you make to any spirit is to your ancestors. So set up that altar. Talk to them. Okay. Even if it just seems like you're just talking, you're not hearing anything back for a while. That's what you should be doing because they hear you. They're listening. Okay. And it's raising your vibration. Okay. Um, once you do these things and you're doing them on a regular basis, then you will start to see signs, okay? And at first it'll start off kind of slow and kind of light, like, um, little stuff and everything. Like, you'll see a feather when you walk outside. You'll see a white feather, angels. You'll see a black feather, protection, or, like, different things, um, that you'll notice. When you see these things, acknowledge it as a sign, okay? Don't doubt it. Don't be like, uh whatever. If a black cat crossed your path, that's not bad, by the way. It's good. And it means that mystery and magic is in the air and the spirits are working on your behalf. Okay? So, acknowledge these things. They thank you. Thank you, universe, for this sign. I acknowledge and I receive it. Because when you do that, that's when you open yourself up for the universe to send you more and more signs and messages that they're with you and to guide you along your path. When they know that you are recognizing the messages they're sending you, the signs they're sending you, that's when they begin to send more and it begins to be clearer and more direct, okay? Um, so, some of the types of signs that you'll see is cats, um, black cats, sometimes gray cat. It don't always have to be a black cat. It can be a different color cat. Um, they're usually protection they're usually magic mystery and they also absorb negativity when they enter the room um 
So you see those, you see birds. Birds are the messengers of the universe, sending you down a different sign. When you see these birds, um, look them up. Look up the different types of birds, the color that it was and what they represent. It's a spirit animal, because that's what they are. The spirit animal is the spirit speaking to you. So, and that what you're getting from what, if you see this um, black crow, which I see a lot. If you see the black crow and you look it up and you see what it represents, protection, magic, and um, getting out of your own way, and things like that, then that's the, that's the message that the universe is trying to send to you. It could be whatever you connect with and meditate on it. And whatever spirit tells you while you meditate is what they're trying to convey to you, okay? So, and y'all, and other animals too. It is not always a cat or a bird. Sometimes it's weird things like a possum, a raccoon, a squirrel. I remember I, used, I have, well, I still have this squirrel that every morning in the exact same spot on my way to work, driving. Every morning in the exact same spot, this squirrel, this exact same squirrel, I know it's the same squirrel, will run across the street at the exact same time every day, and it did it forever, you know. That's a sign. That's the universe. It's not just, we see squirrels everywhere. It's not just a random squirrel. If you're seeing it's something like this continuing, like, okay, this is getting a little bit too, you know, weird. Like, it's day one, day two, day three for a whole week. You know, this squirrel was running across your car, running across the street in front of your car at the same time, at the same spot every day. Okay? That's a sign for the universe. Acknowledge it and say thank you and receive it and look it up. Okay? Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. The, the, the biggest thing I would say is once you open yourself up to spirit through the ways we talked about, meditation, prayer, going out in nature, um, making a declaration to the universe if you want. You don't have to be all these things. Uh, I would try to do at least more than one of these things. Spirituality, researching, setting up your altar, connecting with your ancestors. Once you do these things, then they'll start to speak to you. And all you have to do is acknowledge it and receive it and say thank you. But these small things, these feathers, these, you know, tiny things that you see, even insects sometimes, grasshoppers, you know, spiders, different things. Acknowledge it and say thank you when you can see intuitively there's a sign. Once you start doing that, Spirit is starting to speak, will start to speak directly to you. And what I mean by that is you will, me personally, I can only speak on my own accounts, you will hear them in your ear. You will hear them whisper in your ear. You will get a thought in your head. There was, this could be random thought, but it, you know, it came, it seemed like it's coming from nowhere. When you meditate, you will get a vision, especially if you um, set your intent for what you're meditating about. An example I've had will be, um, an example I had would be the video I did before this one, How Not to Be a Lazy Witch. I had wrote that on my website a, um, a while back and it got one of the most, it got the most hits out of any topic, that and one other, um, Moon Gathering. Those two got the most hits out of anything, any other article on my site and I got that through a vision while meditating and while scripting and talk about have to talk about scripting another time but it was through I can't really explain it but it was like I was meditating the vision came and then I began to script yeah okay like that but yeah spirit will speak directly to you and it can and will happen if if you truly open yourself up, if you're truly open to spirit and allow the universe to come in and lead you, your spirit, your spirit team that you have, especially specifically for you, um, and I can feel them all around me right now as we're speaking, you know, my connection to spirit is, sorry guys, I smell my hair somewhere, my connection to spirit is intense and, and um, real and I can feel them. Um, a recent experience I had when I was at work, <laughs> um, I was listening to something, it was on my lunch break. Well, I was listening to something, I think, and then Spirit told me to close my eyes. And this, feel, this felt like, I get always like they're whispering in my ear, close your eyes, I like whisper. The Spirit is usually kind of quiet. And I closed my eyes. And I put my hands out. I tend to put my hands out, like, open to receive. And 
a vision came through. I'm not going to say exactly what it was, but it was powerful and strong and different than what you would expect. I'll say that. Like, you would expect um, rainbows and light and flashes and stuff. But it was, this one I think was a ship coming in along with some other things. And it was just so intense. But yeah, so if you open yourself up to spirit and make that declaration and do these things, then you too will start to see signs and soon spirit will speak directly to you. Okay, guys? So I'm Karshina. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can know every time that I upload. I will be uploading randomly because just trying to get my content up. So make sure you subscribe so you know when that happens. Peace.